Hi, you guys. Okay, today we are going to show you how to cut hair. Can you say hi, Brooksy? He's got a whole marshmallow in his mouth. Hi, <laughs> thank you. This is my little nephew. Um, when I asked you guys what kind of content you guys wanted to see, hundreds of you guys said you wanted to learn how to cut your little boys' hair and your husband's hair. So I just cut Joe and the two boys last week. So we are gonna do this with a two-year-old. So you'll see the craziness and how to keep them kind of entertained and busy. Honestly, just let them do whatever they want. We just gave him marshmallows. His mom is here who wants more marshmallows. And we're gonna see how this goes. So I've done hair for almost 20 years and I'm just gonna share the tips and hacks and just kind of show you how it goes. You just need um, just normal clippers. You guys, these are from hair school. I think they're like $50. I'll link everything on the blog. Um, try to find you guys as similar as I can. These are the little clip-on guards. They um, go up in numbers. So number one is super, super short. Two is a little bit longer, then longer, then longer. So the higher the number, the longer the hair will be. So we're gonna use a number four on him. That's what I suggest to use. It's easier to blend the top part to the bottom part if you're kind of using a number four. Um, then I have just a little clippers, which you don't have to have. It's just easier to get around the ear and go around their neck. But you can definitely take off the clip and do it with your bigger clippers. These are just like a good investment to have. Anybody can learn. Okay, then scissors. You done? Thanks, man. Uh, just a basic pair of scissors. I'll link some. Honestly, I've cut my own hair with craft scissors. I wouldn't suggest it, but if that's all you've got, go for it. We're already down two marshmallows. So here we go. A good comb. Um, I like this big comb too, which I will link to kind of blend the sides in to the top. I like to use this one just to get all the top part. Um, it's got a little littler teeth. And then you do not have to have these. So these have little teeth in them. Um, they're called thinning shears, texturing shears. They will help blend the two parts together. So I'll kind of show you how it goes. A cape. A cape is a good thing to have. If you don't have a cape, use like your husband's big t-shirt. The biggest thing is, is little kids will freak out when the hair gets on their neck and that's when they're just like, Wah. you can throw a towel around them, whatever. Sometimes this little Velcro itches them. So just do what you have, go with what you got and it'll work. Squirt bottle. I don't like to squirt it yet until we get to the top. So there we go. Okay, you wanna touch it? Another big thing that I learned in school with all my little kids that I did is I think the sound freaks them out. So you'll see he touches it. We've taught him, I swear he was like from six months old. Yeah. Okay, ready? You wanna fill it? So if you let them fill it, they're not afraid of it. You want it tickle? On the cheek. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go, cover up. Okay, you guys, another tip I wanted to show you. Um, I've seen a lot of hair cutting tutorials, but I haven't seen one person share this tip and I'm quite shocked. So when you go up on their hair, you want to, when you get to this point, turn your head. You guys, you wanna um, go about up to, you know, about their temples, and around here is where you wanna go with the clippers. But when you get to this top part, Balls. hold on, clippers. You wanna roll it back. So it'll automatically make the roll hair, it back. roll it back, just like Brooksy says. It'll automatically make the hair shorter to longer. So it will help you blend the two parts together. So honestly, you know, just clipper cut it, clipper cut it. When you get to this top, just roll it back like this and it will help you so much. Just with these, you want to make sure that they, when you cut their little sides in their neck, you want to make sure they hold really still because this will go straight to the skin and make like a solid line. You know, you can do seriously diagonal straight. We're just going to go straight on Brooksy. for good. So I suggest just like holding their face so that they can't really move it. Ow. That's not 
now. Oh, that tickle, tickleness. So you just make that solid line. Whoops, turn, let's show the camera. And then to get over their ear, you want to just tuck it down, and then you can just go up and over. Can you find this face? Do this other one. You get the seeds. You get the seeds over there. Good job, Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, back here where it kind of just puckers out and you can't get really good with the clippers. You'll just have him tilt down. We'll see how good this does with him. Look at yeah, tilt down. Look down it does. You're just gonna pull it out a little bit. We'll see how good it is. Look at your toes. Look at your toes. Okay, hold super still. You're just gonna pull this out a little bit and kind of clip it off right here just to clean it up. Now we're to the top. So this is pretty easy. You're just gonna wet it down. And as you can see, when you rolled that up and back, it kind of already took some, sh like the pieces shorter and longer here. Does that make sense? Here we go. I'm just gonna go straight down the middle of his head and you're gonna find your guideline. So I figure out about how, you know, how short I want it. Don't hold it. No, you can't hold it yet. Don't hold it. I just kind of go straight right in the middle. Okay, so we're gonna go pretty short. So I'm also just gonna point cut. It's a little more forgiving. Um, so it's not like these straight across harsh lines. So I've got my guideline right there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give myself a line all the way down the middle of his head. So can you see where I'm pulling that up? And I just need to cut off this little corner. And you're gonna do the same thing because you, you made your first cut right smack in the middle. And that will tell you where to go. Okay, turn it here, bud. So I'm right here, you see that? I'm just gonna continue from that guideline. Okay, so mother decided she wanted shorter. So here we go again. Okay, so I did my centerpiece. I did my centerpiece right here. This little short one, we'll just kind of redo it again. And then I'm gonna take this tiny mohawk and go all the way down and match it. So I've already cut that. Here, see how I've got this guideline right here. So I just need to just continue with that same guideline. And we're just gonna pull this front hair forward a little bit. And then we're just gonna keep going all the way to the back. So see, I've got this guide. And then I'm gonna cut off this edge. And then you're just gonna keep on going all the way to the back of the hair. And again, I'm not super picky because I like it messy. So I will chop like this and I'll point cut. You can do whatever you want. I personally like the point cutting better. Do you see here's my guide again? And then here's the hair that I'm trying to match up with. So you'll see I've got this guide from when I rolled up and I've got this guide from the very beginning. Okay, okay, then again, we're gonna take and we're gonna take this little mohawk guide and we're gonna go all the way down the center section of the hair. Here's my little guide. And I'm just gonna match it all up. Right here, here's my guide. I'm a little off center. I'm dealing with a two year old right now. And you're just gonna keep pulling it back. Okay. So we've got this whole center section, as you can see, this is done. So I'm gonna do this corner, and then I'm gonna do this corner. So you're still just pulling, put your head up for just a second, buddy. Everything from your guide. I'm gonna go like on a 40, 45 degree angle. So can you see right there? I'm just gonna cut off this corner. And I'm gonna pull back. And I'm just going straight from my guide.
Okay, so now we're just down and we're just gonna try and blend both sections together. So, right here, and we're just gonna pick up from that guideline and you'll see that there's not gonna be a whole lot. It's really just gonna be this last corner because we did this middle section, we did the 45 degree angle and now we're just gonna do this. And you're trying to pull up any of these little hairs that you can and you can see right here, here's my number four and here's my guideline. So we're just gonna snip those off so that they all match. I'm just gonna go around the whole head and continue that same thing. So you can kind of see we've already basically got him blended. So I'm just gonna continue around the whole rest of the head. Okay, so we basically, that's what I'm telling you to do a number four because basically we're already blended. There's not a huge lot of blending we've got to do. Then for these front pieces, I like to just pull them down to make sure we get a straight across. And if they have sticks right here, I mean, you can stick it up like this and basically see that it's all the same length. Um, but if you have curly hair, like my boys, that doesn't work. So I'm just gonna pull this little front down and he has got this lovely calic that we have dealt with forever. Hold that down right there. Find, find pictures of daddy. And I'm just gonna, can you see it? Mm -hmm. And then you wanna again, again, you wanna hold their head. So I'm just gonna hold his and just kind of point cut these to be all the same, all the same length semi, do you know what I mean? But I'm still point cutting them so they're a little bit different. And then you'll, you'll put them up when it's time. Okay, so let's say you did a shorter number on the bottom and you need to Almost done, you wanna take it off? Okay. Okay, so let's say you need a lot of help blending right here. So what you wanna do is you're just gonna do, we're stripped. You look good? <laughs> you feeling good? Okay. Okay, so if you need some more help blending, like we have a section right here, you're just gonna pull up. <laughs> You're just going to pull up your comb and you can point cut it like right here. Here's a little, do you see how this is shorter down here? Let's see, like right there. Let's see, we've got some long pieces because you know what? You guys, my clippers are so old. They don't cut as well. Yeah. So you're just going to pull this up and kind of just cut those little pieces to make them blend. Does that make sense? We're just kind of going like that. Okay, one more trick to help this blend a little bit more is you can get your clippers back out and just roll up a little bit higher. So I'll show you that now. Okay, you guys, so the texturing shears, the ones that have the teeth in it, I'm gonna show you how to use it if you're still having a hard time blending this line. We're almost done, Brixie. So like I showed you to blend with your normal scissors, you're gonna go up like this and don't be afraid because this is only gonna take out little pieces, but you just go right here along this line where we're trying to blend and it will just soften this line a lot for you. So I'm just going along this line around his little temple bone. And you wanna go a few ups. You wanna go like three times up. You don't wanna stay in the same spot because you're gonna Put a hole in his head not a hole but like there's going to be gaps does that make sense so we're going to go right here we're going to go one two and if you want to go higher you can but this will help soften this line tremendously okay so we got our gel you take a good amount don't be afraid joe uses a dot it's never enough and then we just kind of put it more towards the center and make it just a little bit messy. Boogies, yeah. Now Calix, his mama could probably do his little hair a little bit better than me because we aren't used to Calix in the front. Another um, tip is to twist it where you want it and it will stay once it's dry. If you have a blow dryer, you can blow it dry and it will help it take the shape that you want. But as you can see, we are just working with what we got here tonight. So anyways, can you say thanks guys? Look, show them your haircut. Show me your haircut. Thank you. Oh, see, there you go. I did. 
Are you handsome? Look in the mirror. Are you so handsome? Oh, you are so handsome. Say bye, guys. Say bye, bye guys. Bye. Right here. Say bye. 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 <laughs>